Welcome back to another show of golf tips. I'm your host and teaching professional Gary Bauer. On today's show, we'll again visit Community Golf Course located in Dayton, Ohio. Thanks for watching. Welcome back. On this first segment of today's show, we're going to talk about course management and hitting a three wood off the tee. You don't necessarily have to use a driver all the time. You can hit this three wood. If it's a long hole, that's okay. You might have a long iron to hit on your second shot to a par four, but it's a lot easier to keep the three wood in play. So we'll talk about a little bit of course management. If you got trees right or trees left, you don't want to sway to block it to the right or, or turn too quick to pull it to the left. Go ahead, keep it in play by using a three wood. It's not a hard club to hit and you can use it off the tee box. So I'm going to set up and I got my three wood and as I've talked about on previous shows, with your three wood you want to play the ball forward in your stance off the inside left heel. If you're a left handed golfer it's just the opposite of what I'm saying. So course management wise, let's say it's a tight hole, trees right, trees left, you want to keep it in play. Use your three wood, nothing wrong with that at all. So ball position, left heel, my feet will be shoulder width for balance. My hands will come around by my left shoulder, left ear, as I turn into the shot. And that's the key. You want to stay down around and through the shot, make sure your hands finish around. Your right knee will turn up by your left knee, and that gives you weight transfer to your left side. And again, if you're a left-handed golfer, it's just the opposite of what I'm saying. So we're going to pretend we're on a, a tight hole here. And I'm going to tee it up with this three wood. Ball position, left heel, feet are shoulder width, hands are under my chin, arms and turn. Good. Fairly straight shot. I kept it in play. So you, again, you don't necessarily have to use a driver when you're teeing up on some of the holes when you're out there playing. So let's hit some more shots. Again, my feet will be shoulder width, hands are under my chin, ball position left heel, and I want to finish around and through the shot. So we're trying to keep this, this ball in play, this tee shot in play. So I've elected to use a, a three wood, and again, you can use a three wood when teeing off. You don't necessarily have to use a driver all the time. So ball position left heel, feet are shoulder width for balance, hands are under my chin, my hands should face around by my left shoulder, left ear. Hands finished around by my left shoulder, left ear. Good weight transfer. Let's try some more. Now, proper tee height. I do want to talk about proper tee height. With your woods, you want half the ball above the top edge of the club head, half into the club face. And I've covered that on previous shows, so you don't want to tee the ball up extremely low or extremely high. So half the ball above the top edge of the club face, half into the club face. That's your proper tee height when using a tee, when you're teeing it up on the tee box with a three wood, driver, five wood, hybrids. Take a practice swing or two, right on around. go. Balance is crucial. You got to have that balance to get through the shot to get the club head down up under the ball and get it in the air. Now if on the downswing, if on the downswing I pull my left shoulder up, I'm going to top it or hit it low. We try to turn through the shot. Try to keep your shoulders more level as you transfer your weight. If your right shoulder drops, you're going to hit behind the ball, you'll hit it fat or heavy. So shoulder's more level, even though your left shoulder's going to be higher than your right uh, shoulder because your left hand is above the right hand on the grip. But try to keep your shoulders level, arms and turn. Perfect. 
perfect. All right, let's try a few more here. So I got the proper T height, feet are shoulder width for balance, hands are under my chin, that gives me the proper distance from the golf ball. I see some golfers, their hands are way out here, their arms. That'll give you an all arm swing, you won't get no weight transfer with your body. So hands hang right underneath your chin, feet are shoulder width, ball position left heel, and a good turn. Real good. Okay, let's hit one more. And it's not hard to hit this three wood. Use it off the tee box. If you're not having a good day with your driver, keep that driver in the bag. Use a three wood to keep the ball in play. One more. A little bit of a draw, okay? Very good. We'll be right back with more golf tips. Welcome back. Now, on this segment of the show, I'd like to introduce one of my new students, Leslie. Hi, Leslie. Hi, Gary. How are you? Great. Okay, now, Leslie's going to hit a three wood, and as I previously covered, you can use that three wood when teeing off. You don't have to use that driver, and I know you've been having trouble with your driver, so I'm going to have her hit her three wood, and we're going to critique her golf swing. Okay? Think you can do it? Uh, we can do this, Gary. I know you can. <laughs> now, take some practice swings for me. And she's already teed one up. Proper tee height is half the ball above the top edge of the club head, half into the club face. Her feet will be shoulder width for balance. Take you some more practice swings there. Ball position will be off the inside left heel. We've covered that. So, Leslie, your feet are shoulder width. Your hands are right under your chin. Clubbing back the ball gives you the proper distance from the golf ball. Ball position forward, left heel, and we want to keep those shoulders more level and turn. And again, you don't necessarily have to use that driver all the time when teeing up. Use this three wood. I've seen you hit before, and you can really get that ball out there pretty good. All right, let's see what you got here. So she's got her three wood. Tee height is there. Not bad, a little low. Now, when she came through, her left shoulder was slightly pulling up. That pulls her left arm up, pulls the club up a little bit, and she hits it low, or sometimes you'll top the ball, okay? So I always tell my students, try to nick that tee. If you can hit the tee, Leslie, you will get up under the ball, all right? Nick the tee. Nick the tee, yep. All right, let's tee another one up there and take your practice swing or two. Her setup is real good. Her grip is there. I know you've been having trouble with that driver. So let's see what we can do with that three wood today. Okay, setup is there. Nick that T and turn. Beautiful, nice shot. A little bit to the right, not bad though. Good height and good distance, very good. All right, let's tear up again. And balance is the key. She kept her shoulders more level that time. She came around and through the shot. Now take you a couple practice swings. Now I wanna make sure that you get those hands around by your left shoulder, left ear. So when you finish, finish around and through it. All right, and don't forget, remember the right knee turns it by your left knee. There you go, and the hands face around by your left shoulder, left ear. A lot of my students don't finish their shot and they will block it to the right. So you wanna get a good weight transfer. Come around and through it, hands face around by the left shoulder, left ear, the right knee will turn it by the left knee. That gets your weight transfer, your hips turn through the shot. Grip is good. All right, let's see a good shot here. Okay, straight, a little bit behind it. Right shoulder dropped just a little bit. She had a little bit behind it, so her right shoulder dropped. Not bad, though. Direction was perfect. All right, take you one or two practice swings before every shot. And we want that right knee to turn it by the left knee. 
and your hands to face around by your left shoulder, left ear. And again, if you're a left-handed golfer, it's just the opposite of what I'm saying. There you go, that was a good swing. All right, setup is there. Ooh, now that went to the right. What happened was you swayed back and swayed forward. Now, come on over here where I'm standing, uh -huh. and I'm gonna show you what you did wrong. And a lot of my students will do that once in a while. They sway back and they sway forward. Now, if you lean forward, watch the club face when I lean forward. See how it opens? See that club face opening? Yeah, you don't wanna sway. You want to turn, because if you lean or sway, you're going to slice or push to the right. Now watch, I'm going to aim this way, but this ball's going to slice. Now I'm going to do what you did. You swayed back and swayed forward. Back, and there it goes. Big slice. Okay. Okay? Now, let's get that turn. Now this shot will go fairly straight or a little bit of a draw. So I'm going to stay more centered. We'll let my arms come back my arms down instead of swaying back and swaying forward, okay? So it's arms and turn. Okay, a little bit of a draw, a little high, not bad. And there it goes. So you turned into it. All right, come on back, let's see some more shots. Okay, so. You know the proper T height. Half the ball above the top edge of the club head, half into the club face. Feet are shoulder width for balance. Ball position left heel. Take you a couple practice swings. And the hands finish around. Now, now take another practice swing, right knee up by left knee. The right knee turns up by left knee on the downswing and your hands come around and through it. Okay, arms and turn. We gotta get through that shot. We don't wanna sway back and sway forward. All right, now take a full practice swing for me. Back and through it. One more. Right knee up by left knee. Okay, let's see, a good shot. Great height and distance. Still a little bit of a push to the right though. So you leaned versus turning. All right, let's try some more here. Yeah, so we don't want to sway back. Tee it up a little bit lower. It's a little bit high. So balance is crucial. We can't sway back, sway forward, or we will block it to the right. Just think your, about bringing your arms back. That will turn your upper body. Something like that. There you go, that's better, but I don't want you to sway back. If you sway back and sway forward, you're gonna slice it or push it right. All right, good shot here. Beautiful, Leslie. Straight as straight could be, that is perfect. Hey, hey you did you fantastic, did. very, you did very fantastic, good. Fantastic, Gary, that very was good. nice. <laughs> we'll be right back with more golf tips. Welcome back. Now in this segment of today's show, we're going to hit the dreaded driver. And then I'm going to have my new student, Leslie, hit her driver. But the driver is not a hard club to hit. The key is balance, knowing the right fundamentals to get through the shot. Now again, I've got my driver. I've got it teed up here already. Proper tee height is half the ball above the top edge of the club head, half into the club face. My feet will be shoulder width for balance. Ball position inside left heel. And if you're a left-handed golfer, remember, it's just the opposite of what I'm saying. And the key is finish around and through the shot. We don't want to sway back or sway forward. You'll slice it or push it right. Once you get set up, it's arms and turn. Your hands will finish around by your left shoulder, left ear, and your right knee will turn up by your left knee, and that gives you a weight transfer, your hips, through the shot, okay? 
So let's hit some and see what we can do. I got the proper T height, feet are shoulder width for balance, hands are under my chin, arms and turn. Perfect. Hands faced around. Now she goes. Okay. Let's tee it up again. And I didn't sway back. I didn't sway forward. I turned through the shot. So it's arms, turn. Right knee up by left knee. My hands faced around by my left shoulder, left ear. Setup is there. T height is pretty good. Here we go. Face right on around. That's the key. Now on the downswing, remember, you do not want to pull your left shoulder up. If you pull your left shoulder up on the downswing, it will pull your left arm up. It will pull the club up and you will top it or hit it low. You've got to turn. Shoulders stay more level. Remember, your left hand is above your right hand on the grip. So your left shoulder will be slightly higher than your right shoulder. But you want to keep into that same area, your shoulders, as you turn through the shot. Again, if you pull up, left arm, you're going to pull the club up, you'll top it or hit it low. So set up. Arms and turn. Here we go. Okay. All right, let's hit some more here. Go. Take a practice swing or two at the most when you're out there on the golf course. You don't want to practice swing yourself to death. By the end of the day, you take four, five, six practice swings, you're going to be very tired. One or two practice swings at the most. Get up there and do what you need to do, and that's to hit the golf ball. Hopefully keep it in play and shoot lower scores. So we'll take another practice swing here. Arms and turn. Hands come around by my left shoulder, left ear. Setup is there. My knees are slightly bent. And here we go. Okay. Let's hit a few more. And as you can see, again, balance is the key. I'm not going to sway back. I'm not going to sway forward. It's just arms, turn. Right knee up by left knee. That transfers my weight to the left side. Shoulders are turning. Hands faced around by my left shoulder, left ear. So arms and turn. Arms, turn. Right knee up by left knee. So we set up. Ball position is there. Left heel. Arms and turn. Real good. All right. So two more shots here. And if you do tee it up too low, you're going to top the ball or hit it thin also. You want that loft on that club face to get up under the ball and get that height that it should have. With your driver, you should go with the 10-5 or, or higher loft. Don't use a 9, 9-5. I tell a lot of my students, go to a higher loft than driver. It's easy, easier to get in the air. Set up. Okay. Right on out. Very good. Here we go. One more shot here. Balance is the key. And I'm going to have my student Leslie come up here, who's off camera and been watching. And hopefully she can do the same thing. So setup is there. 
ball position left heel. I'm not swaying back. Arms and turn. Hands finished around. Straight as straight can be. Very good. We'll be right back with more golf tips. Welcome back. Now, on this last segment of today's show, we're going to hit the dreaded driver with my new student, Leslie. And Leslie, I know you can do it. She was watching me off camera. If I can do it, she can do it. All right. Now, let me see some practice swings. You're going to play that ball off the inside left heel. Your feet will be shoulder width for balance. Your hands will be under your chin. But the key is we don't want to sway back or sway forward. So let your arms come back, but don't shift your body back. Your arms will transfer that weight to your right side also. And again, if you're a left-handed golfer, it's just the opposite of what I'm saying. So arms and turn. Her right knee, there you go. Right knee will turn it by the left knee, and that gives her a great weight transfer to her left side. All right, let's see what you got here. Balance is the key. TI looks good. Yep. Her grip looks perfect. Arms turn. Okay, Leslie, let's see a good shot here. You can do it. Oh, she topped it. Now, what happened there is on the downswing, her left shoulder went up instead of more around and through it. Shoulders must stay more level as we turn through the shot. Or think about nicking that tee. But if we pull up, we're going to top it, shoulders level. Take you one or two practice swings. And I tell all my students, if you do start topping the ball and you're teeing it up, forget about the ball, hit the tee under the ball, that will get the ball in the air for you. Setup is there, shoulders level. <laughs> That's okay. okay. We can do that. That's all right. No more practice swings. No more practice swings. No. Nick that T. Okay, a little bit behind it, just the opposite. Yeah. Her right shoulder dropped on the downswing. Now, I know, you, you've had some trouble with that driver, but you're not alone. A lot of people do. It's just the longest club in your bag. Still keep your balance. And hands face around by your left shoulder, left ear. Left shoulder, left ear. Arms and turn. Yes. Yeah. Balance is crucial. Finish through the shot. Now take your practice swing or two. Take your two practice swings. Very good. See, now you just barely nicked that grass. That's perfect. Don't be afraid of this club. A lot of people are, but you can do it. It takes a lot of practice. But the driver's not a hard club to hit. Beautiful shot. There you go. Excellent way to go. Very good shot. All right, let's tee another one up. Take some practice swings. Very good, very good. Shoulders stay more level through the shot. And that's the key. We want to keep the ball in play. When you're right, left, playing army golf, you're in trouble. You're going to shoot higher scores. Stay down around and through the shot. That is absolutely perfect. Way to go, Leslie. Well, thank you. Kim. Very good. All right, let's try some more. Very, very good. Yeah. Balance is a key. She turned through the shot. Right knee up by left knee, her hands faced around by her left shoulder, left ear. And you know what I noticed too? You're not swaying back as much. That's yeah. very good. Your balance is so much better. You're letting your arms come back and down and through the shot and facing around by your left shoulder, left ear, your hands. Huh. All right. There we go. Good shot. Very nice. Balance was there, straight as straight could be. Very good. All right, let's see some more here. 
very good. Good distance too. Thank you. Yeah, tea height is very important. As you can see, she checks and makes sure she has the proper tea height, which is half the ball above the top edge of the club head and half into the club face. Arms and turn. Very good. Way to go. Good ball. Yeah, a little bit of a fade on that one. No slice at all. Good job. You kept it in play. All right, let's see some more. And as you can see, she's not swaying back like she was previously. She's not swaying back. She's not swaying forward. She's turning more into the shot. Right knee up by left knee. Bring those feet in a little bit closer. Yeah, just shoulder width. That helps you turn through it. Absolutely perfect. A little bit of a draw that time. Right to left shot. So she's turning now. Very good. Very good. Feel a little better. Yeah. Just a little better. Very, very good. Take that a couple practice. What do you think? Nope, that's good. That's very good. Take a couple practice swings and don't sway back. You've been doing real good. And the hands finished around by your left shoulder, left ear. Perfect. Setup is there. Feet are shoulder width. Ah. Oh, now she topped it again. Well, that's okay. You know, that's just her left shoulder pulling up. But, but what I liked was the direction of the ball flight. The ball was going to go left. So that told me she turned a little bit too quick. But I would rather have her turn too quick than not turn at all. So left shoulder pulled up, but she was turning. Very good. All right, hit one more for me. Okay. One more. Good swing, good shot, good balance. And that's the key, arms and turn, arms and turn. I think we got a trick tee there. You get it? Here we go. Wow. Okay. All right, take a practice swing. Setup looks good, grip is there, arms and turn. Okay, beautiful, not bad at all. Very, very good. Way to turn through the shot. Leslie, you did great. Well, thank you, Gary. You did, you did very, great. very good. Thanks for that training. That nice. You're more than welcome. We'll be right back with more golf tips. Well, that concludes today's show. I'd like to thank the staff here at Community Golf Course and the City of Dayton for having us here. Join me next time on Golf Tips with teaching professional Gary Bauer.